everybody and welcome back to another math lesson. Today we are going to continue our unit on proportionality and dive into constant rate of change. Now this is where a lot of things may sound different but it's really all the same. So we're going to kind of try to lump all those together and tackle them at once. So Remember when we talked about proportionality, um, so let's review real quick, just a proportional relationship A proportional relationship is multiplicative, which means it's multiplying and dividing. I repeat, it is multiplying, it is dividing. Do not add, do not subtract, because if the top one is, or if one thing is adding five, that does not mean add five to the other one. Multiplying and dividing. So you're going to have a constant rate of change. And when you have that constant rate of change, imagine you're on a graph. And if I'm graphing a constant relationship, that graph is going to be a straight line because it's going to be continuous. It's a straight line. It's going to not change. It's not going to bend. And this one has to go through zero, zero. So it's a straight line. no bend, and it goes through zero, zero. And the zero, zero, let's not forget, this is called the origin. Let's use our math words. Zero, zero is the origin. And all that means is a lot of things that are constant rates of change, a lot of things that have proportional relationships. One good example is to think about money. And if I buy one soda, it's a dollar. I buy two sodas, it's two dollars. If I buy zero sodas, I owe zero dollars. And that's kind of where this idea comes from. If you don't buy any shirts at the store, you don't have to pay for those shirts. But if you buy one shirt, it's this much. If you buy two shirts, it's twice as much. You buy three shirts, it's three times as much. Those are proportional relationships. And don't forget that a proportion are two ratios that are equal. So a proportion is two equivalent ratios. Two equivalent ratios. It's going to kind of look like two equal fractions. What's the difference between a fraction and a ratio? A ratio is comparing two separate things, and a fraction is comparing something out of a whole. So you have a part of a whole, whereas ratios are two different kinds of things. So when we're dealing with rate of change, which is what we're talking about, rate of change, It's talking about how much one thing compares or how much one thing changes in comparison to the other thing. So remember, we're comparing two things. We have two equivalent ratios. We're comparing two things. They have a relationship. So rate of change is looking at how much one of those things is changing compared to the other thing. So how much change compared between, we'll say two values, or no, we're going to go math, y to x. Now I know everybody loves science. Um, math may not be your favorite subject, but I hear science is a lot of everybody's favorite subject. So when you think about science and you think about graphing stuff, when you do experiments, 
we call x input or output, independent or dependent. X is my input. It's independent. 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 So X is time. It's quantity. Um, it's something that I don't really control. I'm looking at that. Now Y, if X is input, Y is output. It is dependent and what that means is however much Y is depends on X. So if I go to the store and buy five bags of chips, I pay how much those five bags cost. I don't go in and say I have $10, well you wouldn't walk up to the cashier or you wouldn't walk up to the cashier and say here's $10, give me as many bags of chips. No, you would go buy chips and pay that price. Now you might have a budget, and that's a different conversation. The other thing you might find, or the other thing we're gonna deal with, is constant of proportionality. I know this is a lot of new stuff, except that it's not new. Constant of proportionality. Constant of pro for show na the T. That is a mouthful, constant of proportionality. In sixth grade, you called it a different letter, but in seventh grade, for some reason, we change it to K. So K is equal to Y over X. Your dependent variable divided by your independent variable. Dependent divided by independent. So here's where these two lessons, or last lesson, this lesson, kind of merge together. Constant rate of change and constant of proportionality are both just unit rate. So this and this are both unit rate. And remember with unit rate, we found the ratio of our two things and we found a common or we found the denominator of one or divided to find out how much one thing is. Constant of proportionality is that division. Rate of change is that division. So all three of these things are just unit rate, which was what we did last time, which is just dividing. So moving on, if I am going to the store and let's say I'm going to buy hamburger meat, so I've got X and Y, which one is independent? The X, okay. So this is going to be, if I'm buying hamburger meat, then X is how many pounds? And we put LB for pounds. And Y is gonna be money. Because how much money I spend depends on how many pounds I buy. So if one pound costs $4, two pounds would cost $8, five pounds be twenty dollars eight pounds thirty two dollars now this relationship I don't want you to think that it has to go in some kind of order you're looking at the relationship from Y to X you're looking this way Y's to X's you can look side to side, so like one times two is two, so four times two is eight. One times eight is eight, so four times eight is 32. You can do that, but the idea that we're dealing with is that each pound is $4. So the relationship between X to Y is a times four. And to find how much 
one is, so like if they gave you 20 and five, 20 to five, 20 divided by five is four. Are all of these relationships when divided equal to four? Yeah, each one, eight divided by two is four. They're all divided to four. If I put these on a graph, almost done, promise. If I put these on a graph, you're gonna get a straight line. So if I go to the store and I buy zero pounds of meat, I pay zero dollars. If I buy one pound of meat, I would pay four dollars. If I buy two pounds of meat, I would buy eight or pay eight dollars. If I buy three pounds of meat, I would pay $12. So this line is straight. It would keep going. And it goes through zero, zero. So this is a proportional graph. Straight line goes through zero, zero. That's it. It doesn't have to consistently rise. It could fall. So another example of a proportional relationship on a graph. I need all my quadrants for this one. Another example would be if it went like this. That's okay too, because it's a straight line, sort of, and it goes through zero, zero. So these are both proportional. Both examples of proportional relationships because straight line, goes through zero, zero. Straight line goes through zero, zero. That's all it takes to be a proportional relationship. All right, so again, constant rate of change is just another way to think about unit rate. Each thing costs or is the same amount over and over and over and over. So, all right, well, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell to get notifications. See you all later. Bye, everybody.